green leaves help in photosynthesis if a leaf becomes non green it falls off and dies now what is so important in a green leaf that it provides the survivability of the leaf this is a transverse section of a leaf these cells that you can see are known as mesophyll cells and these mesophyll cells have green pouch like structures which are known as chloroplasts so just like a supermarket has many packets of packaged food like chips similarly these mesophyll cells have pouch like structures known as the chloroplast and these chloroplasts help in the manufacture of food by photosynthesis and thus this is the reason green leaves survive because of this chloroplast now this is how a chloroplast looks like it is oval in shape and it has a double membrane now what are these coin stack like structures well these coin stacks are known as grana and individual coins are known as granum or thylakoid now this portion of the chloroplast outside the grana is known as the stroma which is a plasm or fluid now why are these grana green in color this is because the membrane of these grana contain green pigments known as chlorophyll now chlorophyll means a green leaf chloro means green and phyll means a leaf now the chemical composition of chlorophyll is carbon hydrogen nitrogen oxygen and magnesium now if a portion of a grass gets buried under a big rock and then after some time if you remove the rock you'll find that these grass they are non green from here you can understand that light energy is required for the formation of chlorophyll if there is no light energy no chlorophyll will be formed but in scorching summers plants become non green they become yellowish and they die off this is because chlorophyll is also light sensitive too much of light can kill the chlorophyll but in other seasons where there is optimum amount of light see the chlorophyll survives and the plants are very green in color so light energy is required for the formation of chlorophyll this is a section of a leaf so the upper part of the leaf or the surface of the leaf which is exposed towards sunlight will have more amount of chlorophyll present in more amount of chloroplasts so these cells that are very green because of the more amount of chlorophyll present in it are known as the palisade parenchyma palisade parenchyma has more amount of chloroplasts which have an abundance amount of chlorophyll but this portion of the leaf which is not directly exposed to sunlight will have less amount of chlorophyll in the lesser amount of chloroplasts and these cells are known as the spongy parenchyma together the palisade parenchyma and the spongy parenchyma form the mesophyll of a leaf now tell me only the outer part of a stem or a fruit has the green color why is that 
well we saw that chlorophyll is formed in the presence of light since only the outermost part of a seedling or a plant or a fruit is exposed to sunlight so chlorophyll will be formed in the chloroplasts and these chlorophyll will help in the process of photosynthesis but since the inner parts are thick and they are away from the sunlight that is they are not directly exposed to sunlight chlorophyll will not be formed and so they are non green since they do not have chlorophyll they will not be able to produce food by photosynthesis